The objective within this lesson is to interpret and represent patterns when multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000 in arrays and numerically. Let's model this problem. Using this place value chart, we have three ones times 10. So we'll start by showing three ones. And then we have a group of three ones. How many groups of three ones do you see? Just one. And in this case, we are multiplying by 10. So we can move that group when we multiply by 10 to the tens place. So that three ones times 10 is equal to three tens. If I was to multiply by 10 again, I would be taking three tens times 10. And then so we have three tens here as a group. We multiply by 10, and then what would we get? We would have three hundreds. So three tens times 10 does equal three hundreds. If I was to do that again and go three hundreds times 10, and let's write that equation down here, what would I get? Three hundreds times 10, sure. We move that group over one more time and we would have Three what? Right, three thousands. Let's go ahead and solve this problem 12 times 10. The first thing that we will do is that we will model 12 with number disks. So 12, we have 12 here. How many ones is that? Right, two. We have two ones there. And how many tens is that? Right, one. And then so that is a group of two ones there. And we have one ten. When we multiply by ten, just as before, just as before, if we multiplied two ones times ten, what would we get? Right two tens. So we'll draw that in. And we, when we multiply the one ten by ten, what do we get? Right, a hundred. Putting that together, we have one hundred two tens. And how do we write that? We write that one hundred twenty. So that twelve times ten is one hundred twenty. One hundred two tens. You go ahead and try this one here. 23 times 100. Set it up, and then I will help you when it is that we get to the multiplying by 100, because that will look a little bit different than just multiplying by 10. Pause that video to, again, model 23 in that place value chart. So there is our group of three ones. And then we also have our group of two tens. When we're multiplying by a hundred, three ones times a hundred wouldn't be worth a ten. It'd actually be worth three hundreds. So they get moved two places on over to the left. If that's the case with the ones, then two tens times a hundred 
would get shifted all the way over to the thousands place. So our new number is two thousands three hundreds, which we write as two three zero zero, and we place our comma. Can you hold the, read this whole equation with me? Twenty three times a hundred equals two thousand three hundred. Check over your work. Notice again, when we multiply by 100, the group shifts two places on over. So if we had digits, the digits would shift two places when we are multiplying by 100. So that the ones are worth hundreds, the tens are worth thousands. Here we have 3 times 20. Just as 3 times 100 could be expressed in different ways, as 3 times 10 times 10, 3 times 20 can also be expressed another way. Hmm. Well, 3 times 20 is also equal to 3 times, how many tens is this? Right, that's 2 tens. And 3 times 2 tens can also be rewritten then as 3 times 2 times 10. Well, I know that 3 times 2 is what? 6. So we have 6 times 10. And 6 times 10 is what? Right, 6 tens is 60. So that 3 times 20 does equal 60. We multiplied that 3 times the 2 first, and we were talking about tens. So we broke it down and we decomposed it into multiples of 10, and that's what we'll do, either multiples of 10 or multiples of 100 to help us multiply. Let's try a few more of these. Here's a place value chart showing that work here of 3 times 20 equaling 60. So what we started out by doing is that we had 3 times 2 here, 3 times 2 here. So we had two threes, right? So what we have there is one, two, three, one, two, three. And we multiplied by 10. There's modeling three times two there, right? And then we multiply by 10. Or that group just gets shifted all the way over. And that is a group of six or six tens, which was 60. Here we have 4 times 300. Well, 4 times 300, I can express as 4 times 3 times what? So that's 4 times the 3 times, wait a second, so we have 3 hundreds here. We broke down 3 hundreds into 3 times what? Right, 100. Let's evaluate that. 4 times 3 is 12, and we have 12 times 100, or 12 hundreds. 12 hundreds is equal to what? 1, 2, 0, 0, place a comma, and read it properly as 1,200. So that 4 times 300 is equal to 1,200. 4 three hundreds is 12 hundreds, which also can be written as that there. Count by three hundreds, three, six, nine, twelve hundred. Yeah, that's it right there. 
5 times 4,000. Let's break it apart. Our basic fact that helps us is 5 times 4. So let's start with that. 5 times 4,000 is equal to 5 times 4. And then how did we break that apart? 4 times what gives us 4,000? Times what? Did you say 1,000? 5 times 4 is 20, and I'm talking about 20 times 1,000, or 20 thousands. And how do I write that in standard form? 20,000. 5 times 4,000 is 20,000. If we count it by 4,000s, 4,000, 8,000, 12,000, 16,000, yes, 20,000. And we broke it apart where we're looking at that there and decomposing it into a multiple of 10 before multiplying. One of the big keys here is to recognize what multiple of 10 that we're using. So we remember we have different multiples of 10. 1 times 10 is? Right, 10. 10 times 10, we multiply by 10 again, we get 100. What happens if we multiply 100 by 10? We get 1,000. And then so we had different multiples of 10 that we were looking to decompose from. And so we continue to work with what happens when we actually multiply by 10. When we have different things like 3 times 10, or 7 times 100, or even things like this, where it is that we had 5 times 20. Can you figure these out? 3 times 10 equals what? Say 30. 7 times 100 is 700. How about that last one? Well, 5 times 2, right? Which is 10. And we have 10 tens, which is 100. So we'll continue to work on this.